What up, what up, world? Welcome back to another installment of Hosted by Decent with me, your host, Decent. <laughs> and my guest at this time, multi talented black woman, as most black women are, believe it or not. She just released her project, Wide Nose, Full Lips, which is actually my Native American name. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, I was thinking about the language. Like, How really? do we? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for such y'all. Yay! Woo! I feel like I said your name wrong. I need to put like a little bit more pizzazz on it. Okay, let's try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for such. Yes, come on now. Thank I'm you so for glad stopping to be by. Here. Yeah. You know, matching locks. That's right. You no, know, we already have a similar vibe. I feel it. What, what are you using yours? Actually, I use Jamaican castor oil. Mm -hmm. You be knowing. Haitian castor oil also, because I'm Haitian American. And then um, argan oil, and that's pretty much it. Let's talk about your project. Yeah. The title, mm -hmm. Why Nose, Full Lips. Yeah. Love the title. Just because in this era where, you know, we're, I want to say, rediscovering and reclaiming our blackness. Mm -hmm. Representation is important. For such a long time, those two characteristics have been associated with black people in a negative way right. for so long. What right. made you decide to name your project this? A couple of things. If I could describe my project in two phrases, I would say one, it's a love letter to myself, mm -hmm. being more comfortable in my skin, falling in love with myself, and two, an unapologetic love letter to black people and blackness and all things black. When I was thinking about this project, I was thinking about all my childhood and I had a family member that would always tell me that my nose was too wide and she would try to squeeze it and be like, you need to do this to just make it, you know, a little bit pointier, a little bit more Eurocentric mm -hmm. so that that was a standard of beauty. And when you're told this as a kid, you totally internalize it. Right. And it took me a long time to realize that my features, just as they were, were beautiful. So when you talk about reclaiming that that's what that's what this project is about. It's about reclaiming it. It's about knowing your power and stepping into that power. To touch back on something you said about it being a love letter to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I imagine yes, you know yourself. You know, the woman, the person, but in a more I want to say literal sense, self as being you know a woman of color. Mm -hmm. I feel like once again now we're in this space where black women more exclusively are starting to open up and be recognized as, you know, the pillars of society that we've right. known to be for so long. So exactly. Do you feel like that's something that other women of color can identify with when they hear this project? There's something about being comfortable in your skin and that everybody can identify to that. And I hope that after they listen to the project, they feel more empowered to go ahead and be their truest self and to embrace themselves fully. There is a different energy from when you start recording a project and then when you finish recording a project. That's true, yeah. Because you get a little bit more comfortable, you start to find the sound a little bit That's more, right. and it starts to resonate in some of the records. So mm -hmm. was that a journey that you had to go through creating this, or was it all pretty seamless? I ended up moving while I was doing this project. Mm -hmm. So I had some time where I wasn't listening to everything every day. So I took some time away from it, and then went back and listened to some songs, and I was like, oh no, these songs don't go with the rest. <laughs> so some of them had to go, and other songs had to be rewritten or reworked. Um, because the message was there, but just the like musically, it just didn't fit. So it was really nice to have that time away um, to come back to it with fresh eyes and fresh ears and be like, okay, this is what's going to work. Who are some of your influences, you know, from both ends? I know it's a very, very trivial question, but I know. seeing as how, you know, you're coming from all different angles, being Haitian American, you know, having, you know, actress chops for lack of a better term, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, making such a soulful album, like, what are some of the influences, you know, mm -hmm. be it people, places, or things that help you create? I grew up in the church, and my dad's a pastor, and up until, like, 92, I only listened to um, gospel music, wasn't allowed to listen to secular music. Then our house burned down, and my parents loosened, loosened up the reins a little bit, and my older sister, the first thing she asked for when we were building the house was she wanted a boom box. Mm. And so she got that boom box and I feel like that's when my like secular music education began. And it was like, oh, Luther exists. And oh, there's Prince and Michael Jackson and you know, and there's Jodeci and there's Boys to Men and there's Tony Braxton. Like, so that's where, so I feel like that's sort of the foundation of a lot of things for me. And of course I love Aretha, I love Neo Soul. So Jill Scott, Maxwell, um, music, 
Erica, India. I'm trying to think who else. I love Sade. Who doesn't love Sade? Right? Drake went as far as to get his, his, her face tattooed on him. <laughs> who doesn't love Sade? I mean, I don't know if I love Sade that much, <laughs> but it's a pretty high level. Now, we're going to play a game. Now, the name of this game is called Such and Such. The object of this game is I'm going to give you lyrics from a few songs. Oh, no. You don't have to guess the artist. But I have to guess the song? You have to guess the following lines. What? So I'm going to say the lines and then follow it with such and such, and you have to fill it in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to start off easy. Oh no. I'm gonna start I off. have really bad memory. You're not gonna judge me, right? No, not at all. Okay. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the such and such. <laughs> Month of May. See? <laughs> that was easy. See, you sweating. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely. Boy, don't you know you such and such. I know I should know this. Probably do. <laughs> What you saying? <laughs> Three, two, one, and and it's you'll always be a part of me. I'm part of you indefinitely, boy. Don't you know you can't escape me? Ooh, Ooh darling, darling cause, cause you'll always, always be my baby. baby, and we'll linger on. See you do it. <laughs> it's your fault. You read it in a way that wasn't you know rhythmically the same way that you know, the song is sung. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? You know what? And so. <laughs> You know what? You're right though. You have, a, you have a fair point. You are the guest. <laughs> so it's my fault that you didn't know the song. I remember what Emotions, yeah. that album. It was on um, a, a tape, and I remember like listening to the songs and like. Y'all like, wasn't or around seven. for that. <laughs> when I was like six or seven. Yeah. There. Yeah. Life can be only what you make it. When you're feeling down, you should such and such. I knew I was going to be bad. Mary J. Blige, my life. You're right. My life, my life, my life. Oh my God. Mary, I'm sorry. I'm so she sh sorry. She should know better. She I should. She should know better. This is this is an atrocity. Queen Mother Mary, what a world for the lonely guy. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna such and such. You mentioned him earlier as one of your influences. Did I say Luther? What's not, which, one, which Luther song is that? Any Love. I'm failing, Deesa. Please help me. I am helping you by giving no. you the answers <laughs> after you get it wrong. Sometimes I love you more than you'll ever know. Other times you such and such. How contemporary is it? I cheated on this one. <laughs> this is another one of my favorites. Sometimes I love you more than you'll ever know. Other times you get on my nerves. And that is from Make It Work by Neo. This song in particular I love because this is like the... You get into an argument with your girlfriend, mm -hmm. and like you gotta realize that you know you guys are both splitting the rent, so you gotta make it work. That's always why you hey, make it work. Don't, don't get me wrong. That's that's, that's the only don't, reason. Hey, hey, look, <laughs> right? I'm just saying the love will always be there. Right. That two bedroom apartment at that price, not so much. <laughs> gentrification is a thing here. Yo, it's gentrification real. is 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 real <sighs> everywhere. Everywhere. You know, I live in Denver, right? Have you been? No. I want to though. You should. For other reasons, since oh. a lot of things are legal out there now. <laughs> That's true. It's for medicine, guys. That's true. Just say no, kids. <laughs> would you ever want to work with Neo? I think Neo would be awesome. And the cool thing about how he like writes songs for people, I feel like he really caters it to them. Yeah. And so I think he'd be probably a joy to work with. Definitely. If you get this one wrong, no, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed. It's the way you're reading it. I, I promise you. <laughs> even with me, it's reading, the way it's the way you're reading. Even it. with me reading it, you're gonna get it. I promise. I swear on Big I'm Luther. So, I'm so stressed. Not Little Luther, but Big Luther. <laughs> so you know I'm telling you the truth. You tell me the truth, right? Because Big Luther is the truth. Yeah, you're is. right. Don't matter what they say. Oh, it's my own song. See? <laughs> you thought I was gonna set you up for failure. I was like, oh no, I don't know. Yeah. So tell us about this song. No matter about. what they say. Yeah. When people feel like they can tell you about your relationship and they're like, nah, you ain't gonna make it. Mm. And they're super opinionated. And they may even be coming from a good place or a sincere place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're being authentic in whatever their truth is. But when you know what's right for you, you gotta go with it. Don't matter what people say. It don't matter. It don't matter because ultimately you're the one that has to live with the choices that you've made. Yeah. And so if you know what's right for you, go ahead, full force, and do your thing. Ladies, if you have a friend 
that comes to you and say that your man is cheating no. and provides Wait, that's not, that's tangible not. evidence, <laughs> including pictures, <laughs> direct messages, timestamps, and receipts. That's the, you, you do not listen to that friend because it does not matter no. what they. That's no. not that. No, I wasn't. No. You know, I wasn't saying that. I was talking about no. you know them nosy people that just want to that don't have the time. That, that, that's that accurate. don't have. You know, what I mean, they're just they're just inserting. But they're themselves. still being nosy though because you didn't ask. Or they just predict that like, oh y'all ain't gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they're coming with evidence that you didn't ask. But the, but the, no, I we do need friends like that in our lives though. Do we really though? You don't want to know. I want to. <laughs> Projects out into the universe. That's right. You're bouncing back and forth through this great country, spreading mm-hmm. the word of yeah. such. <laughs> what more can we expect, not just from this project in particular, but everything else that you may have coming up down the line? More music videos, for sure, because music videos are fun. Mm-hmm. They're fun to do. Um, possibly acting things. Tell us I'll more sure. about you know your acting, because you know you're accomplished on Broadway. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I want, I want Broadway, you to kind of I, blow it up. I, I want a Broadway World Award, but it was something that I did in Colorado mm. in which it was the regional premiere of The Color Purple, and I played Seeley, and that was amazing. So tell the people. I You're amazing. Seeley, and it was amazing. Yeah. It was wonderful. She's an incredible character. Absolutely. And so to go on that journey playing Seeley is phenomenal. With such, thank you so much for stopping by. Where can the people uh, find you at on social media? You can find me on Instagram at I am such, I A M. S U C H. On Facebook, you can just search for I Am Such. Twitter is at Such. And my website is I Am Such.com. There you have it. All things Such. That's right. Wide Nose, Full Lips, mm-hmm. out now on all streaming platforms. Make sure you go get it. Support black women. Support great music. Support a dreaded sister. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for stopping by and tuning into another episode of Hosted by Decent. We will see you soon. Peace. Yo, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And also, make sure you visit our website, popthis.com, and follow us on all social media at popthis.